f of x continuous for the first interval. That means for x less than zero. Why? Because it's polynomial. And similarly, for x greater than one, continuous. Again, it's polynomial. We have to write this in the answer. Okay, these two are done. Now we are only worried about the third one is between zero and one. Zero less than x less than one. That's the third interval. Here also it's continuous because it is a constant function. Constant value is zero. So now we have to check case zero. Case one is when x equal to zero. Case two is when x equal to one. So for this we have three cases: Alger, direct, Archer, and for this also Alger, direct, Archer. So when you do a Alger for x is zero, that means less than zero. So that is zero minus h. That is limit h tends to zero. 0 minus h when you substitute, that's nothing but 2 into 0 minus h. So, we are substituting 0 here, the answer is 0. Direct value, that means x equals 0. We have to take the second one, it's already 0. RHL, that means 0 plus h. So, anything greater than 0, 0 plus h. So for this, you have to use f of x equal to 0, the second one, therefore 0. Since this equal to this equal to this, it is continuous. Now for okay. this, it's a 1 minus h, direct 1, 1 plus h. So 1 minus h means less than 1, that means it falls in the second one. So f of x is 0 here, or f of 1 minus h is 0. And direct value is 0. 1 plus h is limit h tends to 0, 4 into 1 plus h. So you will get answer is 4. So 0 equal to 0 is not equal to 4. Therefore, this continues. Understood? So this continues at x equal to 1. So now we will go to the 17th question, important, 17th as well as, after 17th I will go to 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, then I come back to the 18th number. So 17th question, find the relationship between A and B, so that F is defined by F of X equal to ax plus 1, x is less than or equal to 3. This is dx plus 3, where x is greater than 3. And he, he has already given, it is continuous. So he says it is continuous at x equal to 3. Therefore, what we have to do for t is equal to 3, find out LHL and R direct and RHL. So we have to equate them so that we get the relation. LHL is nothing but 3 minus H. So limit H tends to 0. 3 minus H is this one. A into 3 minus H plus 1. H is for 0. That means you get 3A plus 1. Direct value. That means we are putting x equal to 3. So here you will get 3a plus 1. That is this. x is 3 plus h. So it has to go into this. That means limit h tends to 0. b into 3 plus h plus 3. So you will get 3b plus 3. Since continuous, the function is continuous at x equal to 3, you will say 3a plus 1, 
b equal to ba plus 1, b equal to bb plus c. So you can ignore one of them, you can take these two. So you will get 3a minus 3b equal to 3 minus 1, this is 2, 3a minus 3b equal to 2. So then take 3a here, you get 2 plus 3b, a is equal to 2 by 3 plus b, this is the answer. That's how a and b are expected. See? Okay. So, 26th question also, 26, 229, they said it's already continuous at indicated point and we have to find out the value of k. 26 f of x is k into cos x divided by pi minus 2 s. This is f x is not equal to pi by 2 and this is f x equal to pi by 2 and it is given it is continuous at x equal to pi by 2. This is what is important for us. It is continuous. Okay. So, our c value here is pi by 2. So, left hand limit will be pi by 2 minus h. R h will be pi by 2 plus h. So, we do the same thing. limit h tends to 0. So, it is pi by 2 minus h, is, this is the one we should take. k cos pi by 2 minus h divided by pi minus 2 into pi by 2 minus h. Got it, right? So, this is important one, this step is important, limit h tends to 0, if you do cos pi by 2 minus h, there is nothing but sin h, this is from our complement angles formula, divided by, here what is, is 2 into pi by 2 will be pi minus pi plus h, when you expand it, 2h is in this, it should be 2h. So, this gets cancelled. So, you have 2h, k sin h. So, we will write that as limit h tends to 0. If half is written out, k is also written outside, you will have sin h by h. You're getting it right? So, this, these two steps are important. Without so that, you, you won't get a mark. So, you get k by 2 will be coming out and you say limit h tends to 0 sin h by h. So, this part is 1, is the fundamental limit. So, the answer here is k by 2. Now, for the direct, this turns to 3, because it x equal to 1, right? So, x equal to pi by 2, is So, RHL is the limit h tends to 0. In fact, you do not have to do RHL. This is the this is the funny thing, okay? No need to do. Why? You just need to equate this and this. LHL must be equal to direct. Of course, it should be equal to RHL. But since A is given continuous, so equate this K by 2 equal to 3, these two. So that gives k is equal to 6. So, it was given in one of the board uh, times. Okay, one year they have given this question under the 4 marks. 4 marks? Yeah, I think 4 marks. So, last question. Okay, in the section. So, we will go to 27 now. Question number 27. f of x equals 
sec square if x is less than or equal to 2, if x is equal to greater than, greater than 2. So, at x is equal to 2, it is continuous. So, given at x is equal to 2, it is continuous. Okay? So, c is 2. So, c minus h is 2 minus h. c plus h is equal to 2 plus h. Therefore, we have then. So, limit h tends to 0. c minus h, I have to substitute into this. A into 2 minus h whole square. When I substitute h equal to 0, you will get 4k. Direct value, that means direct, that's the c is equal to 2, so I should be taking this. So, I have k into 2 square, which is equal to 4k. Here, limit h tends to 0, c plus h, I should be doing 2 plus h, that's equal to 3, whatever it is, okay. so I have 2 plus h, that's equal to 3. So I equate 4k equal to 4k equal to 3. So you can take these two only, k is equal to 3 by 2. So for the eighth question, So, f of x is kx plus 1 on it's a cos x and that is for x less than or equal to i and this is x greater than i and we are trying if we say this continuous x equal to i. So, f of x is continuous which means when you it tends to 0, f of phi minus h should be equal to f of phi. Same thing, I am writing LHR equal to direct equal to that. Okay? Limit h tends to 0, f of phi plus h. So, f of phi minus h, that means less than phi is this. So, limit h tends to 0, k x plus that's 5 plus h, right? 5 plus h plus 1. So this is the element. The direct value is f of 5 is k 5 plus 1. We substitute 5. Then origin will be the cos x. So you just have to say limit. h tends to 0, cos phi plus h. So, h tends to 0, cos phi, that's equal to minus 1. So, here also h tends to 0 is k phi plus 1. So, k phi plus 1 is equal to k phi plus 1, and that's equal to minus 1. So, we are straight away writing k phi plus 1 is equal to minus k pi is equal to minus 2, k is equal to minus 2 pi pi. Ok, then 29th question, very similar except for instead of cos x to 3x minus 5 is there. So, you think you can do or this I do? You think you can do? No. Okay, right. that's a very fair. <laughs> okay, okay, good. 29. But you are understanding, right? Yes. F of x equals kx plus 1 if x is less than or equal to 5. And it is 3x minus 5 if x is less than 5. At x equal to 5. At x equal to 5 means it's continuous at x equal to 5. So then f of x is given continuous 
add x equal to 5. Limit x tends to 0, k to 5 minus h plus 1 should be equal to k into 5 plus 1, this direction. Okay? This direction. So, should be equal to RHL, that means limit h tends to 0, 3 of 5 plus h minus 5. So, this value would be h tends to 0, you have 5k plus 1, should be equal to 5k plus 1, should be equal to h is equal to 0, so 15 minus 5, which is 10. So, that implies 5k plus 1 equals to 10. 5k equals to 9. k is equal to 90 percent. So, we are done with up to 29. 30th is find the values of a and b such that the function defined by this is a continuous function. I think we can do 30th also. Then I will explain uh, the properties of the uh, algebra of continuous function. Then we go to the rest of the question. Okay. Maybe I will do first 30th, yeah. then we okay. So, question number 13. f of x equals to 5. If x is less than or equal to, and it will be x plus b if is an x less than 10 and it is 21 if x is greater than or equal to 10. So, we know he said it is continuous, it is given continuous. So, what we have to write is since f of x is given continuous function it should be continuous at x equal to 2 and at x equal to 10 because see, these are the two interfaces right one is 2 other one is 10 so, case 1, sure. x equal to 2. So, LHR is 2 minus h, direct is 2, and uh, RHL 2 plus h is what we need to be substituting. So, for LHR, with this point h, f of x, f of 2 minus h is nothing but 5. So, direct, okay. the direct value is that is 2 again it is 5 f of 2 is 5 then or a chart so limit h tends to 0 2 plus h meaning x plus b so a x plus h plus b so this will give h tends to 0 a x plus b so but then x plus h is nothing but 2 plus h right so, you will have 2a plus b. In fact, you have to substitute 2. So, what this is to us is 5 is equal to 2a plus b. So, this is equation number 1. You okay. will get another equation for the case 2. Okay. So, case 2 is c is nothing but 10. So, LHR will be 10 minus H, correct, and RHR will be 10 plus H. So, 10 minus H, less than 10, you will have AX plus B. So, limit H tends to 0, A, 10 minus H plus B. So, when H tends to 0, you will have direct is when x equals to 10. So, that value is 
21 and rhs will be so it's a greater than 10 10 plus h greater than 10 so f of 10 plus h is nothing but 21 because it's a for greater than 10 also it's 21 so we equate the to 21 this is the equation two and we write down the equation one what is the equation 2a plus b right as the 2a plus b with the previous page we are written isn't it 2a plus b equal to 5 so this is the equation one so i want to write the equation subtract and minus so you get the a equal to 21 minus 5 is 16 A is equal to substitute this into this equation into two. What B equal to five? That is five. B equal to one. So A equal to one and B equal to one. This time. Okay. So you understood all these questions, right? Twenty-six uh, to thirty-eight. Then we can go to Kind of, <laughs> yeah. It's not, not difficult actually. It's easy. I mean, we are not using limit at all. Just uh, just a series of steps. That's all. Okay. So we will go to the page number one fifty-six. Okay. Page number one fifty-six in the textbook. 